SGC here, and we're back with a movie review. The Homesman. So why did I go watch this film? Well, first off, let me tell you who's in it. Tommy Lee Jones with Hilary Swank. And Tommy Lee Jones is quite busy with this movie. He's the director, he's a producer, he's a writer, and he's also in this movie. This movie is a period drama film set in the 1850s Midwest, and it's based on the 1988 novel of the same name by Glendon Swarf Out. For everyone else, check down below. So the title actually refers to the task of taking immigrants back home, which was typically a man's job to carry out, hence the homesman. And clearly, it's not a man, because we got Hilary Swank, who's taking charge as a Midwest woman in 1850s, and she's really caring about her community, and she's like, we have three crazy women in our community, and we need to bring them to a church five weeks away and hopefully they will be taken care of there because clearly they are not being taken care of here and circumstances happen and Terminal Lee Jones joins the fray and they're like hey let's join up and let's do this and the entire film is basically about the trek from where Hilary Swank lived to five weeks away to some place at church so that these crazy women would be taken care of so what did I think well first off first off for me, Hilary Swank, I have no idea why I feel the way I feel towards her until I watch this movie. I realize, for me, Hilary Swank, in the attractiveness, in physical form, there is nothing there for me. But I realize after watching this film, she is cast greatly for this role, as she is strong-willed, and it's just the inside that matters. She got it right here, as in she is just a great character, strong-willed, and it's just like her expressions and how she carries herself really has that atmosphere. So with that said, I was actually going into this strictly for Tommy Lee Jones. And I was surprised that he's actually not the main main character. Rather, he's sort of the supporting cast. And he's the side character and Hilary Swank is up in center. She's the main focal point of the story. And wow, this story, great, great stuff. Okay, for me... The last few westerns that I've seen are Django Unchained, True Grit, and 12 Years a Slave. And I realize all three of them don't have a woman's perspective that is really there. Sure, True Grit, we have Haley Steinfeld who's there, but she doesn't really represent an everyday sort of woman. Django Unchained is sort of just, you know, exaggeration galore and just men everywhere. And 12 Years a Slave, there is a slave sort of there, but I'm saying like a white woman back in 1850s. And here, seriously, for me, I really got a slice of life of what a woman in 1850s in Midwest would actually go through. The dialogue that they brought up, the issues that they brought up, and how they handled it and how they, and how they executed it was just great. There was some dialogue about marriage and stuff, and just like her defining the terms as why she's a good candidate for marriage. It's just like, wow, it's like a slice of life of what women went back, went through back then. Or maybe she is an exception, and she's very strong-willed, she's very successful, or what have you. But it was still a good slice of life, and it's just like, oh, something new. Never considered that sort of thing. So that was a great portion of just laying it down in terms of just the authenticity and just the realism I felt that I was there and also there is no humanization of the Indians back then and Tommy Lee Jones right up in centers like these guys are savages and how they're portrayed are strictly savages and it's like nuts and I was like yeah that totally reflects how Westerners felt about natives back then like sure natives most likely had their own culture they were not savages they were just savages in the eyes of the Westerners but that's another I'm not even going to go there. But yeah, I just really enjoyed the perspective that they really laid out of the Western life in this movie. And also, the free crazy woman. Wow, that was some intense crazy stuff. Like, props for them. Like, sure, I think the biggest issue for me were the crazy woman's development wasn't that strong. But, I mean, I don't really know how you would develop a character that's, you know, crazy. They were set up crazy and they were reinforced how crazy and you see some change as in they're maybe f sort of getting back to normal sort of thing but you don't really know them much and I'm not really sure how they would have done it or maybe I'm just asking for the sake of asking as in like why not sort of thing and that's I don't know 
maybe it's not really a bad thing. I think the crazy is the crazies, and it was great, and it was just like convincing and authentic, and it was enjoyable in terms of just like this jarring contrast with Tommy Lee Jones and Hilary Swank being like normal Westerners and these crazy women who are just really nuts. And I felt that they really gave a great acting as in it didn't feel like they were acting. These women really committed to their roles and really portrayed someone that was nuts. And now on to the way that it was filmed. I haven't seen Tommy Lee Jones previous film so I can't really judge on his cinematography, but I would say he really captured the essence of the loneliness and just the vastness of the Wild West back then. I mean, when you think about it, back then you have towns that were super far away from each other, as in you would only have the community that you have and everyone else would be super far away. He really captured that essence as into this vastness and loneliness and it's like you gotta stick together sort of thing and I really did enjoy that. So basically my biggest praise for this film is that it feels authentic and real and it was just didn't feel very action-y compared to say obviously Django and Chain is off the hooks. True Grit is somewhat of a bounty hunter realistic western but it didn't really dwell into the normal life and even 12 Years a Slave is about the slave and just to have this normal midwestern you know good folk Christian folk or what have you it was interesting for sure I just love that I can have different perspectives in terms of filming and basically I would recommend this film it was enjoyable it's new in terms of perspectives like I keep saying and it was a good performance there was some turning points where I was like wow I can't believe this happened some parts were just really amazing and the shock value was there, it really helped with the story, like really drove things home, themes and character. And it was really, really enjoyable. I would say it was it was an enjoyable time. And I'm a sucker for westerns, even though I don't really watch a lot of westerns, but I really enjoy the fact that they put so much effort into making a period piece. Like for me, when I'm watching Hong Kong TV drama, I don't feel that it's authentic. It, I feel like they're on set. But here, it. Okay, I know that's a bad comparison, but I like the fact that when Westerners happen, I watch them, I'm like, it's authentic, I feel it. I mean, I watched A Million Ways to Die in the West, that just felt like they were all acting and on set, because, you know, Tom McFarlane's dialogue was just not great. But here, I appreciate it, I enjoyed it, and Westerners aren't just fun, it's just too, like, you appreciate life so much more, it's like, man, 150 years ago, that's how they lived? We are so spoiled. But... Anyway, I digress. Too much talking. Go watch The Homesman. It's a great watch. Hilary Swank, great performance. Tom Lee Jones. I didn't really talk about his acting, but I enjoyed it. It's Tom Lee, Lee Jones. He's like George Clooney. Or George Clooney. Or They're on the level where they just show up and do their thing. And it's like, oh, yep, they did their thing. No complaints there. So there you go. There you have it. The Homesman. Reviewed. If you have seen The Homesman, leave your comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And that is all for this review of The Homesman. Out.